Hello and welcome to Slope. Today's lesson is very important. Slope has a lot of applications in math and science. So let's learn it from the beginning. Slope or gradient is the ratio of increase or decrease on an inclined object. Suppose that you are here and you are going upstairs. If you do that, your real displacement is indicated by this red arrow. But if I establish a right triangle, I see that this red arrow is, anyway, the hypotenuse of this triangle. So I have two hidden displacements. One of them is the base to the horizontal direction, and the other is the vertical one, which is named height. So the ratio of height over base is defined as slope. Suppose that I put a triangle here and the other one with more slope, larger slope. Why we say the second one has larger slope? Because if I go from here to here on the base of each triangle, the second one will take me more upwards. This is why we say it has more slope. Look at these examples. In this triangle, the vertical side, the height is given to be 6 and the horizontal side is given to be 2. So the ratio of 6 over 2 height over base will be the slope of this hypotenuse. Okay, it's 3. Pay attention, this 3 is not the length of the hypotenuse at all. It's just the slope of that. The other one could be like this. Suppose that the base is given to be 12 and the slope is 1 third. Based on this equation, slope multiplied by base will be the height. So 1 third times 12 or 12 over 3 will be 4, the length of the vertical side or the height. The other one could be like this. The vertical side is given to be 14 and the slope is given to be 7. Here I see that height over slope also will be base. So 14 over 7 will be 2. How could we define the slope of a line? A line may have an equation like y equals mx plus b, which is named explicit equation. The exponent of x must be 1, and the exponent of y also must be 1 to define a linear equation. m is the slope of the line, and b is y-intercept, y-intercept. Let's see how the slope can be introduced. y is equal to 2x plus 3. So I can easily identify the slope here. But what does it mean? Suppose that a line could be something like that with increasing or ascending format. Why ascending format? Because 2 is positive. When the slope is positive, the line is going up. When you go to the right, to the positive direction of x, you see that the line is increasing. Okay, how the two can define the slope of this line? Something like this. Suppose I, I put a triangle, a right triangle here, the vertical side and horizontal side will have the ratio of two. It means that if you go one step forward, you will go two steps upward, as the slope is two. Also, I should emphasize on the vertical intercept, which is 3 here. It's not that important in uh, this discussion. Anyway, okay, look at this one. Oh, I forgot to tell you, of course, that the ratio of 2 over 1, which is the slope of this line, keeps the same value everywhere. So the slope of a line is not something to be changed in any other point. The line is given to be negative 4x plus 3. How should I draw it? Uh, I see that the 3 is the vertical intercept, suppose that it's here, but as it's negative 4, the slope is defining an ascending line, which is going downwards. As I go to the y, to the positive direction of x, I should go downwards as it's, as it's negative. So I can draw the line, something like this, with a negative slope. What does it mean? If I establish a triangle here, and if I go one step forward, I should go four steps downward because the slope is negative four. That's all. Is the slope different in any other point on this line? No, I told you the slope of a line is constant. Everywhere at any other point, the slope will be the same. It keeps the same ratio. Look at this 
example also. Find the slope of a line with the equation of 5y is equal to 4x plus 2. It's a big mistake here to take this 4 as the slope. It is not. The reason is that this equation is not explicit equation. It's implicit equation. Explicit equation is something like that. y equals mx plus b. In explicit equation, the coefficient of y is 1. Because of that, the coefficient of x is defined as a slope. Otherwise, we cannot apply that rule. So here, the first step is to make an explicit equation out of this implicit one. The best approach will be dividing both sides by 5, by the coefficient of y, to make it or convert it to 1. So here I will have 4 over 5 times x plus 2 over 5. As you see here, 4 over 5 is the coefficient of x in explicit here because the coefficient of y has been converted to 1. So we can easily say 4 over 5 is the slope of this line. This is very important. So I can emphasize again, slope of a line is coefficient of x in explicit equation. Explicit equation is y equals mx plus b. The coefficient of y must be 1. How can we define the slope of a curve? The slope of a curve is defined point by point. Look at this triangle and suppose that for more resolution I put a magnifying glass on that. This triangle is very small as the slope of that seems to be on a part of that which seems to be almost a line. So here the slope of this small line, this small segment of course, seems to be the slope of that triangle. The smaller the triangle, the more precise you may consider that point. So the slope is defined as point-to-point -point property. It is not a constant property, so on different points you will have different slopes. So the slope of a, tri of a triangle attached to that, a small triangle like this, may change in the other point and the other point and the other point. So it's not a constant value. As a slope of a curve also is defined point to point, it's a very important property to understand the nature of that, but it is more complicated than the line. Because on a line, slope is always the same. Everywhere on a line, you see that if you put a triangle, the hypotenuse will have the same ratio of height over base. But on a curve, it's changing. How to interpret slope in physics? In physics, we have a variety of slopes based on the same definition but with different nature. For example, if you, do, uh, the, if you draw x versus t for an object, x could be the displacement and t could be the time. Suppose that it's a toy car moving from here to here for a displacement of x or delta x everything and then you have measured the time interval to be delta t. So if you put a triangle here and if you define the delta t to be the time interval from here to here as a part of this measurement, the vertical side indicates that delta x is a displacement as everything I read on vertical axis here indicates the displacement and everything I read on horizontal axis is delta t. Look at the nature of these two horizontal and vertical values. Anyway, the nature of delta t is totally different from the nature of delta x. It has the unit of second, for example, and uh, x has the unit of meter. So if I define the ratio to be delta x over delta t, basically it's very similar to math, but it has a different nature as delta x has the unit of meter and delta t as the unit of second, the slope has also unit here. In mathematics, there is no unit for something like that for a slope, but in physics, mostly yes. Here, meter per second is exactly defined as something, later we will learn it, of course, as velocity. So the velocity of that toy car will be delta x over delta t. So the slope of this uh, graph is um, indicating the velocity of that object. 
it's a little bit different or may be considered as an extra module for the nature of a slope in physics. Another one could be, for example, the graph of V versus T, the velocity of an object versus time. If you do that, and if you put a triangle again, here the horizontal line is indicating the time interval again, but the vertical line is indicating delta V, change in velocity, as everything I read here indicates the change of this quantity, the velocity, so it's delta V. Here, delta V over delta T is defining the slope, but we know that the delta V over delta T is the rate of change of velocity that's defined as the acceleration of the object. So I think here we have got the point. The slope in physics is something a little bit different from the slope in math. In physics, the slope might have a unit. For example, here, delta V has the unit of meter per second, as I told you. And here, uh, in downstairs, has the unit of second. So the unit of acceleration will be meter per second over second. It's going to be meter per second squared. So anyway, I should always care about the nature of a slope in physics. Of course, sometimes when you draw a graph, the slope uh, might have no meaning, but mostly in science, the slope tells us a lot of things. You should care about it. Look at this. Slope in extremum points. Vertically and horizontally, suppose that I have a general graph of y versus x. Forget about physics or any part of science. Mathematically, let's go back to the definition of a slope. I told you that the uh, slope of a curve is not easily defined all around the curves. You should pay attention to point-to-point -point definition. So here I can attach a triangle and measure the slope. For any other point, I should do that again. Uh, look at this point. Before this point, you see that the slope is defining a positive value. Anyway, it's ascending or increasing curve but after that it's decreasing so seems that at this point i have a special property before that the curve is increasing and after that the curve is dis decreasing descending so increasing decreasing or ascending descending at the, the maximum point at the maximum point there is no slope as you see the curve for a moment for just a point seems to have no slope so it's very important to emphasize on the very important property of zero slope at extremum points extremum means maximum or minimum when you go to maximum or minimum of a curve you have no slope before the maximum or before the minimum the property of ascending or descending will be different from the after. So, for example, here in the maximum point, I have ascending and then descending property before and after. But for the minimum, I see descending and then ascending after. That's all. This is another thing you might know about all the curves, even in science, even in physics. If it's is also indicating x versus t. For example, in physics, you may have x versus t as a graph like this. At this point, which is regarded as the maximum point, I have no slope. But I told you, the slope in xt graph is indicating the velocity. So if I say at this maximum the velocity is zero, it's exactly the same as uh, I told you about the zero slope because the slope has a special name for xt graph so rather than the slope I can also refer to that value as the velocity of the object so here also I can say that the velocity of that object is zero here this is something you should know about the slope in physics later we will go for more and more understanding in different cases in physics so this part of mathematical physics is just to update you about the basic rules and the basic understanding of the slope. Okay, today's lesson is finished.
Thank you for watching. If you liked it, give me a like. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and push the bell button to see more videos. See you later.